EA Sports and the United States Golf Association are proud to present a national championship. Today, it's live third round coverage of the United States Open Championship. Today, we're here at Chambers Bay in University Place, Washington for the U.S. Open Championship. Rich Loader alongside Frank Navalo, EA Sports, set to bring you all of the action out on the course. And Frank, what can you tell us about this unusual layout? It's actually the first golf course that Robert Trent Jones II has actually designed in Washington. And it just fits in beautifully with the environment. The Puget Sound it really sets off the whole golf course. So it looks like a Lynx golf course, but it can play in so many different ways. You can play it through the air, you can play it along the ground. And of course, already it's hosted US Amateur and US Open. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. Try up next. Didn't fare too well on this hole yesterday. Made a bogey. That's not how you picture it, Frank, when you step on that first tee. No, you'd, uh, you'd like to go back to that first tee right now and start again and getting ready for the putt. Frank, that's a par, and onward we go. Second hole now here at Chambers Bay in the U.S. Open. Frank, it's a relatively short par four. It doesn't mean it's easy, though. Uh, this is more of a strategic hole. You want to lay the ball up around sort of 270, 280 yards, avoid that big bunker on the left. It is going to leave a short on in, but the hole bends to the left as well as the slope of the land is right to left. Got to take that into account. Pretty good drive here. Another straight one. Frank, that is position A. Yeah, t the tee shot was like silk, which I mean, just sets up that second shot so beautifully. Frank, what's the best way to access the hole location on this second shot here at the second hole of Chambers Bay? Well, Rich, it's really set up with a drive. If you can drive it down the right side, you get a bit of view. Plus, you can avoid that ridge that's in the middle of the green on the left side. Um, if you're coming in from the left side, that bunker on the right, now you realize why they put that there. Because when you've got a skirt to the right of that ridge, that second shot becomes a little more difficult. That will be a great look at birdie. Now this for birdie. Came away with a bogey on the previous round. Oh, I thought he had that. Can't booty them all, Rich. Even par, currently. Good work right there. He'll settle for par. Now on to the first par three of the U.S. Open here at Chambers Bay. It's all in front of you. Beautiful uh, view there in the distance. You can see the water. Um, once again, it does slope a little right to left. Uh, don't have to go straight at the flag here. This one's a little bit of a sleeper. Effort right there, and a great chance to knock in that short putt. Not a gimme, but well within his range. Oh, man. I just pushed it. Boy, that hurts.
good roll. Frank, so often a U.S. Open is defined by difficult par fours. How does the fourth here at Chambers Bay stack up? Well, Richard, adds to your list here, 495 yards. Uh, that says one thing, but the fact that it's anything other than straight, bunkers left and down the right side, plus the, the hole bends to the right. So this is a very strategic hole. If anything, something slightly left of center, but you're still going to have a lengthy second shot. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. This is a good looking shot. Good clean contact and a nice result. And a chance for birdie coming up. Par yesterday. Now for birdie. Small back on the face. Now the fifth hole here at the U.S. Open and Frank, quite a dramatic tee shot. Everything's really in front of you. You can see it from the elevated tee, bunkers left and right. That's not really the problem. Uh, one of the problems is, is that bunker just short, smack bang in the middle of the screen. So the chances of flying that bunker and stopping on the screen down breeze are, are probably next to none. So you're going to have to go in right or left of that bunker. Now, the approach shot here at the fifth hole at Chambers Bay, and how difficult is this? Well, it looks straightforward, but um, the second shot, once again, just semi-blind. You've got to be very aware of that little central bunker that's just short of the green, because you're either going to have to go over it or around it. That's how you play the game, right there. Stick it in close, and then knock in the birdie. Frank, this would be a nice way to jumpstart the round. Yeah, his momentum uh, can quickly go in the right direction if he makes this. Oh, how did that mess? Are you kidding me? I mean, that one was dead center. Four par. Whoa, that was unexplainable. I thought that was easily going to be a par. Now I'll have to focus. Try to make bogey. Settles in over the putt. Frank, it has been that kind of a tournament. Another bogey. Featured golfer is already five holes in. Let's take you out now to the sixth. Frank, this would be a good time to get it going. Made some pars to this point, but if you want to win, you have to make birdies. Rich, I think the thought of winning has to be removed from one psyche right now. You've just got to worry about what's in front of you. It just looks confused. Forgetting about playing the actual game itself. This isn't winning happens by a series of good shots. It's get back to the basics of playing golf. That's how you play the game right there. Knock it on the green and give yourself a good look at birdie. Made a par in his previous round. This time, it's for birdie. Suddenly a ray of sunshine with that birdie. There is hope. And on the top 25. Well, Frank, what a stretch of tough par fours here at Chambers Bay. Now to the seventh. Long uphill par four and a lot of trouble to the right. 
Yeah, and it's all sand, that's for sure. Um, if you miss a few on the left, then it's all June, so take your pick, really. But ideally, that uh, green piece that the, uh, the superintendent often mows each and every day, that's the place to go. And for a U.S. Open at 508 yards, if you miss that, that little green strip, then this hole will be hazardous because it's going to play a lot longer than that uphill. Well, it's going to take a good one here considering what they've already gone through, Rich. Um, right now, that green is going to look very small, so it's going to take a good shot here to give himself an opportunity. Some really poor play to this point. Oh, no, look out, Frank. I think he flushed that one. Oh, this is, this is going, going, gone. Playing this par four. Still not on the green after that second shot. But still not done. Um, a good third shot. Maybe get away here with Pop. Solid play, heart of the green. So a tester from four feet. He'll take par and move on. Now to the second par five of the round here at Chambers Bay and the U.S. Open. It's a long one. Yeah, it's a beast. You miss this field, you, you could be hitting all day long and... Um... And, of course, that's going to rack up a fairly healthy soil. Meanwhile, hit the fairway there. Only the longest hitters will reach this par 5 and 2. But still a good chance, even with a wedge, to make a birdie because the green slopes back to the player. Second shot. Frank, that ball's sitting up like it's on plush carpeting. Rich, if you and I had lies like that every time, we'd still be playing this game for a living. Now the approach at the eighth, and Frank, what are the options for a player? Well, the green does slope back to front, so if you're a high ball flight hitter, there's nothing wrong with flying the ball uh, all the way up there. But because there's no bunkering in the front, you can also come in here low and sort of bound that ball up there. Choices. This has been just a pure display of ball striking all day long has not missed a single green, every one in regulation. Wow, that was so close, Frank. Just time to forget that one. I mean, you couldn't hit that much better. Come on, you have to make that, don't you? Drop shot here at the eighth. A makeable putt right here. He is currently sitting at one under par. That is another bogey. It's getting messy, Frank. Ouch. Frank, the ninth hole called Olympus. I mean, that is very grand sounding. Like something that... You're talking great God here, aren't you? Come on. It's, this, this golf course is for the mere mortals, Rich. Whoop, this is taken off on a weird line. And it's going to be in the rough, it looks like. And that one rolls just into the rough. Now you have to decide whether or not that ball's going to fly or not. Second shot coming out of the rough here. Cannot hide the flag stick from that man inside of five feet. And he makes it for par. 